question? Uh, yes, sir. What does a PCV valve do? It's a good question that young man has. What does a PCV valve do? What the hell is a PCV valve? What does it do? Let's find out, and then we're going to delve into some of the history, the fascinating history of the PCV valve and what it does. Let's go to the big board, shall we? In your engine, which has cylinders and pistons, there's a big explosion above the piston, and the piston gets pushed down, and the valve, exhaust valve opens, and the piston comes up, and it pushes it back out. But the point is, some of the combustion gases, the exhaust, gets past the rings of the piston, which are designed to seal the piston to its cylinder. I'm sure I have a fascinating illustration of that going on right now. Anyway, the rings are not perfect. If they were, they would wear out, wear out almost immediately. So there's a little bit of gap. And some exhaust gases get past the rings and down into what's called the crankcase, which is where the crank lives and the oil is below it. It's the basic body of the engine. The, those uh, gases are called uh, um, blow-by because they blow by the rings. How about that? So what happens, of course, as you would expect, is exhaust is made of many things. Some unburned fuel, some uh, soot, carbon, a uh, lot of various byproducts, including water, which is a, a byproduct of combustion as well, and probably the most important one for the purposes of this discussion. So the crankcase is now being perpetually pressurized with this blow-by, combustion gases, and that's not a good thing. It's going to, the water is going to act on the oil that's in there and degrade it. It's going to rust parts. It's going to soot and carbon things up, and it's just not something you want in your crankcase. So, the very uh, earliest days of uh, gasoline engines dealt with this with a brilliant invention called a road draft tube, which is nothing more than a pipe that hangs out of the crankcase of the engine and vents this blow-by to atmosphere road draft tube. They figured out a way to put it on the engine such a way that as the car was going down the road it would kind of create a suction and suck this stuff out and it would just blow into the atmosphere and that was it. But a road draft tube is problematic because it's an open tube to your engine and animals can get in there and debris and most importantly condensation. As the engine cools down just like your soda with a bunch of ice in it water condenses on the outside and that water becomes liquid and then there's a science class and all that, but who cares? The important thing is that at some point a smart person, and I believe this was in the late 50s, and I believe this was a Chrysler invention. I could be wrong about that. I'm sure the big board will tell us if I'm wrong about that. Um, Chrysler came up with an idea. Why don't we take those blow-by gases and instead of relying on road draft to suck them out of the crankcase, let's rely on the intake vacuum or the vacuum that the engine is making as it sucks its air in and bring them in that way because those spent gases are simply uh, inert as far as the engine is concerned. They don't contain much oxygen because it's exhaust. They don't contain much fuel, if any, and they, they're basically inert as far as the engine goes, as far as what it's drawing in goes and have no effect because they're inert. So, smart person essentially connected the road draft tube to anywhere on the intake where there's a vacuum that the engine is creating as the cylinders are drawing the air in and thus solved the problem. But there's always something. So, you need a valve there to essentially separate liquid oil because you wouldn't want to draw in liquid oil and burn that because then you're just burning oil. That is, you know, that's bad for a lot of reasons. Most importantly being when you run out of oil, your engine is done. So they invented a thing called a PCV valve. Now that acronym stands for Positive Crankcase Ventilation. Just as it sounds, it allows the engine to pull blow-by gases from the crankcase and thus eliminating the problem. And PCV valves are fairly straightforward devices. It's a it's a, a a valve that seals and a spring, and the spring is calibrated such that the engine will draw gases, but not liquids, for lack of a better term. And pretty straightforward, and you know almost anything would work, and that worked fine. Well, long around the year 2000, when emissions became a very big deal, 
And, uh, and other things became a big deal because with modern engine controls, you need a consistent environment for the engine to run. So you don't want to leave these things up to chance like a road draft tube or just a, a breather valve or something like that. So anyway, Chrysler came up with this system uh, in the Pentastar, although I'm sure it predates the Pentastar. And uh, I'm going to show you that system now on a different, on an engine. You can actually see what's happening. Okay, here we are back in the magical chamber where I'm storing this uh, 3.2 engine, which is the same. I'm going to try and show this to you, and I probably won't be able to, but this is where the PCV valve goes. This would be in front of you as you look at the motor. Uh, this, this direction would be towards the driver's side, and that other direction would be... Think. So anyway, it's on the rear head in the back, and what you can see under where the PCV valve goes is nothing, and certainly nothing elucidating. But if I look here through the cam position sensor hole, if I can show this to you, which I may not be able to, and I'm not going to spend all day trying... There we go. Inside there, see that thing on the right? It's kind of shrouded and it's eh, I'm not going to be able to show you. But what's in there is a sort of a, it kind of looks like a little fan. And I'm not 100% sure of what that is. I believe it's a slinger that's a air and liquid separator. And that's doing the main separation function to separate the liquid oil out um, and put it back in the cylinder head or not let it into the tube that the PCV valve is valving. That's what, what I'm driving at. But there's a little sort of a fan in there. It's really cute. It's nice. Not a big blow dry your hair or some shit. I don't know. Okay, so that's how a PCV valve works. Pretty damn exciting. All right. How does it relate, you know, to your this? Well, let me tell you. It's basically a maintenance-free system. The PCV valves, um, they don't really cause trouble as such. Even when they go bad, the worst cases we've seen when they actually go seriously bad, which is that spring wearing out, is they will draw oil up into the intake. Um, and not enough oil so where you'd notice oil consumption issues, but enough to where when I get the intake off, I'm going to see oil down the intake runners, and, and uh, you know, it's not a good thing. For years, for many years early in ownership, I never serviced the PCV valve because it doesn't code for anything. It doesn't cause a problem as such, but I come to rethink that because... I don't want oil in your intake, and you don't want oil in your intake. Um, so we've started replacing them. They're relatively cheap. You are welcome to come armed with your own PCV valve, but uh, I believe we charge 55 bucks for them or 60 bucks or something like that. And we're talking about a part that every 100,000 miles, which for most people is 10 years or some crazy amount like that. Um, I'm going to show you now a video of an innovation in the PCV valve provided by Dorman, which is a company that makes little solutions to things, which you've seen in a previous video, but we're gonna recycle it here because I'm not gonna shoot it twice. I was being gingerly. Yeah. I was being delicate. Trust, uh, trust All people. right, short video. This is the Dorman brand PCB valve, positive crankcase ventilation for those of you who don't speak French. It is not exciting, however, it is exciting because there's always something exciting. Look, they give you a little stick, need help, save a trip. What's exciting about this, you see this bolt that it comes with? They don't all come with bolts. This is the symptom of your PCV. See all this oil? Yeah. This puddle right here was actually just me walking over, yep. and oil just pouring out of this thing. And when you see that, that's your seal right. has gone and let the... Now it can go, the oil can come up back up as far as, as the butterfly, which would be the throttle body. But what'll, and then what'll happen is a, uh, a guy that doesn't work on a lot of Chryslers will go clean that like it's a GM or a Toyota or something like that because he thinks that it, it works that way. The Chrysler doesn't work that way. It has a map sensor rather than a, wait, yes, a map sensor. There's no map. There's no right, map. It's not GM. Exactly. Yep. So this doesn't have a heated wire behind it that needs cleaned. Um, but the important part is, aside from that, this tip is that. Factory, these things have... I wonder if this engine has one on it. This is a 3.2 from a Jeep, and it has, it doesn't have it. But normally where these bolt in in the back are two little Torx fasteners, T25s, which are a pain in the butt because you don't have a, it's tight back there and you don't have a. Like this. Yeah. That, yes, it's that suck. bolt. Very easy to strip. Very easy to strip. They suck. They're hard to get to. Blah, blah, blah. But a bolt. Yeah. Hey, everybody has a bolt. What's that, yeah. an eight? What yeah. What could go wrong? Yep. So that's a free upgrade, meaning it's easy to get back there and do it. And the second time you go to do it, you won't even need the stupid torque, so. 
And that is a hot tip for hot something. No. No, you don't blow on it. That's just a figure of speech. I gotta go. Okay. Well, I like to think that that's everything there is to possibly know about PCV valves. I guarantee that's more than you wanted to know. And uh, we've learned, we've laughed, we've lived a little, we've cried a little. All right, kids. Promasters only. Give us a call. 234-571-0098. And I may answer the phone even. Or email promastersonly at gmail.com, all one word. Or you can come see us in Barberton, Ohio. And feel free to ask questions. I, uh, I don't mind answering questions. It takes quite a bit of time. But, uh, you know, there's a metaphysical component to what we do here. Which is, I had so many problems with the ProMaster early in my ownership. I'd just like to spare you that. So feel free to ask your questions. The purpose of these videos is to put in video form so I don't have to type as much and repeatedly type the same questions over and over again. Okay, I'm glad. Let's talk soon.